so thrive heavy lies the crown it's a colony builder um but it has a it does have a very interesting mechanic to it which i'm which i want to show off um in in the steam like description it talks about being uh rts combat and uh it plays kind of like a you know like banish style where you're building a town farthest frontier you'll see that in there uh but but the world map is like all connected and so we'll eventually be building um like units running across the map. I'll, I'll just show it to you, and we'll see what's going on with this thing. Uh, the the playtest just hit here. I think it's going until the 11th of December, so it's going to be ending pretty soon. And it comes out here early, early next year. I have not played this one before. No one plans for ruin. I did not ask for this ever-thickening fog for the illness and decay that it brings. It was no threat at first, just a, a light haze over fresh morning dew bringing greater sheen to ripe berries and a, a bountiful fullness to grazing beasts. How subtly that sheen dulls and the, the bounty dries up as it begins to creep in to seep in and whispers turn to whimpers. Food spoiled, livestock dead, water poisoned. Some call it a cleansing. Most call it the Walgrim. I call it my destiny. My rule seemed bound to failure, but for failure, I'd never planned. But you, what destiny awaits the one who walks amongst the Walgrim without fear? It has always been you. So here, take this gift, the mantle it bestows. Pray that you might bear its weight a little better than I. But never forget, no one plans for ruin. When the Walgrim calls, how will you answer? Also, uh, it has a little bit of like a I guess Frostpunk comes to mind. Um, we're building a medieval settlement, you know, kind of style thing. But there's this this funk out there, this fog, and these crystals. And it does certainly play into the game and what we do with it. Um, but I'll show you the, the real interesting bits here and what, what has me intrigued by this. I play a lot of colony builders. And so I always look for, I look for like, the what, what makes it different, right? And uh, so we'll see what we can do there. Now, this is a playtest, so a lot of this stuff is going to be very early, uh, early days. But they're planning some multiplayer stuff in there. There's also, like, co-op uh, multiplayer in there. Let's check out the single player today. Uh, we'll be going to the game. We've got a big map, and we're going to be using this map multiple times. We'll, we'll pick a starting settlement. We're going to be making multiple settlements here, most likely. We'll have not, well, not multiple settlements like, like you're thinking. It's multiple settlements, as in we're going to have a main one, and then we'll have, like, little offshoot settlements to bring in, like, wheat or ore or whatever. We'll start over here in Idith. Seems like a nice... Nice cozy place. All this stuff is going to be, I guess, customizable, customizable at some point. Right now, we're the blue folks. And as you can see over here, we've got things like there's pigs and trees and whatever. Some will have different things. I think these are actually all going to be the same um, as they are. Yeah. Um, but we'll, be, we'll be forced, basically, to go and find places that have different resources and build trade towns that we will trade with. And, um, well, we'll get to the load screen and I'll show you, I'll show you what we're... Um, I'll show you what we're getting into. All right, it's two months since the fall of Aldemore. Now, another thing, another thing that really interests me about this. So they're going to have, it's not here yet. All we have is sort of like the middle, the middle path. Um, but like uh, benevolence and malevolence, there's a, there's a sort of like, are you going to be the good guys? Are you going to be like the evil uh, town and... Depending on like the decisions you make with that, your town actually like looks different. So you can have like a happy, you know, happy, happy town, or you can have like a Mordor kind of looking town, depending on the choices that you make within the town, which I think is pretty neat. We'll see if it, how it plays out. They don't have that in the game yet, but we'll see. Uh, where do my interests lie? This set the tone. This is like the starting set the tone of uh, of our town. We can be where wisdom has grown, little fear remains. We rise with vigilance. Scarred but unbroken, or prosperity's pursuit uh, ensures a bountiful future. We'll go with vigilance. Vigilance sounds nice. Um, I will keep the tutorial on, I suppose. 
and we'll kind of run through this. Okay, so we've got ourselves a uh, a wagon, and let me show you. I'll give you a quick rundown of like the interesting bits. So we'll set down we'll set down our town center, you know, and build a town here. We'll put in lumber mills and, and quarries and all that kind of stuff. We'll zoom out though, and we can go to the world map again. In the world map, you see we're at we're at Idith here, and eventually we'll go and we'll go to the different towns. If you're playing multiplayer, other folks will have different settlements around here. Um, and you may say, well, we can go down to Strophus right down here. We got to go through the over map and then click over there and change, you know, uh, change zones or whatever. But no, no. Here's my town. We zoom on down. We do. zoom on down, and you can see we were outside of my territory. There's a road. Cross the road, and look, there's that. There's that place. And so as we're playing the game, we'll see like barbarian camps and things pop up here. So it almost has like a. That's where the RTS bits, I guess, come in. And we'll sit, be able to send our, our units out over there. Caravans or whatever. It's a little little choppy. Uh, I may turn it down a bit. But anyway, let's go and place down. We'll, we'll deploy our wagon. We can move these guys around if we want. We're going to deploy our wagon. We'll put down our keep. And we're going to build our town sort of around this keep. And you're going to make me regret having this thing here, aren't you? Uh, like that. <clears throat> Something like that. And we'll get them We'll get them to, uh, to work. They'll glide on over there and get to work. Remember, this is playtest days, right? Uh, early, early days. We'll let them do their building. But yeah, it's a, a, a very interesting idea. And so in in Idith, we have a few resources here. No ore in Idith. If we want ore, we're going to have to go down here to... Um, it's like Trufeld or... Yeah, Trufeld or Ural to get coal and stuff. So we'll have to build a settlement down there. Build a wagon, send them down there, set up a new town. Uh, Sudanu. Has water. Do we have water? We got water. Do we have fish over there or something? They got grain over there. So we'll have to go over there and get some get some grain or whatever. Um, eventually. But for now, for the first while here, we're basically building, you know, we're, we're playing a, your standard banished-like colony builder. <clears throat> hey, Chromo, how's it going? There will be a story. Uh, well, there there is a yeah, there is a story, and that and that plays out into this as well. Um, we'll see it all when it starts coming in there. But these this this the 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 fog funk will start kind of messing with things. Uh, resource gathering. We need to go get those a primitive stockpile. Set up roads and all that kind of stuff. So over here we've got a different things we can make. You know, like food stores, farmer house, wells. We've got laborers. We got different. We got laborers. And we got farmers. We got different classes of folks. There's the logistics things. Everything has to be connected with the road. And the pro the stockpile has like a, a range to it. So we want to make sure everything's sort of like within range of that stockpile. Uh, well, I was gonna put it outside. I guess I'll put it over here now. My wagon's in the way. Um, I think this will do. Like that. Okay, so we get to work. Go we'll get that thing built over there. And we'll get uh, some log cutters and things all, all set up. Fog's coming, and there's some weird crystals coming in there as well. And we're going to start, we're going to use those crystals. I, think I don't know if there's magic in it. I haven't seen that part yet, but it kind of feels that way. The fog is coming, yeah. Um, so there's an area of influence, which you saw that there. And um, some things need to be in that in that radius here. So stockpile built. We can now build resource camps. We can get a logger. We can get a quarry. So we'll go do some of that. Corey, he's going to so make sure we keep that that thing within our, our, our green range. We can adjust that, actually. Um, and I think... Well, you know what? There's rocks over here. I think we're I think we're fine to do something like over here. Like that. Because, like, this guy, we can't, we can't adjust the square. But this guy, we, we can. We can go, like, whoop, bigger. Like, that's like his catchment. Catchment is the word. Uh, he's going to need a road, though. So we'll do like. I can do my road right. Like that. Bink. There we go. You're gonna be looking alright on stream there. A lot of times these playtest games aren't exactly the most optimized of things, and so they sometimes have some issues with uh, optimization. Okay, and then we go. We can manually adjust that thing. Yeah, I got it. Oh, want me to do it? Okay. Okay. So now, with our supplies covered, we can now shift our focus to food and water. So we want to get ourselves a food market. Let's go ahead and do that. And this fella's got make sure you know people need to live next to next to that fella. So we'll put him over. Mm, like we'll put him like down here. 
Yeah. We'll get a road going over there. I want to see if I can figure out how to get like a roundabout in here somehow. Because, as we all know, not really any point in building a city unless you've got a roundabout. Well, I play Pioneers of, of Pagonia. Um, I, was, I, was, I was debating heavily. Oh, I put the road on the wrong side, didn't I? I was heavily debating today whether I play that today or if I play this. <laughs> I, le I went to this. So pa Pagonia will probably be tomorrow unless something else comes up. But yes, I will be playing it. I played the demo of that one a couple months ago. That's why I figured out, well, I played it a couple months ago. I want to see this one before the, the, the this is over with. And, oh yeah, check that out. So we could see him actually build, like, not like, it's not Ostrov level building, but you can kind of see the thing, the sticks get thrown up there and things get put together. It's a square about. Yeah, yeah, you know, but you know, there's this weird fog out there, so times are tough. So it's it's more of a square about kind of, kind of day. Ooh, sun moves fast here in freaky land. We could get this thing all together. And you can see, yeah, piece by piece, they kind of get thrown up there. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. There you go. Food market. Okay, a well. All right. Well are very, wells are very important. In fact, you know what? This might be what goes in the middle of this roundabout. It's whereabouts. A well. Because the last thing we want is places burning down. That's what's going to happen. <clears throat> you got a road between here and Stockpile. This is going to turn kind of funny, but that's, it'll be all right because I'll put a uh, bunch of houses around here. <clears throat> and they'll be content. Um, you are are doing quarrying things. There's some people working there. So, like, Keith is over here and, and Lilibeth. And we can, you know, take them off or rise them up and all that. And our free workers are listed. Event log. We got a tome of knowledge. This is this is research stuff, which we'll get. Uh, we'll get to eventually. Here's you go. Here's our here's your your story stuff you're asking about. So foundations of settlement have been laid. Much must be done to encourage its growth. Your curia, a small group of advisors, will help you find your way. We have Chancellor Declan Bodie, Duke Donovan Stanton, and those who remain were from the Fallen King's Curious. Sir Oswin Hayward, trusted knight and friend, are here to round off the group. So this is where we're going to start getting into the, um, uh, how, how do you want to go? Do you want to go, like, I'm going to use Mordor as my, my, my example. Do you want to go evil? Do you want to go friendly? This is where you're going to kind of start figuring that stuff out. So we got the Chancellor over here. We got the, the, the knight, um... Things are dark. What do we do? He says, focus on security, you know? A strong defense. Uh, you got the Duke over here. He wants money. Um, you know? Yeah. What do we do? Safety first. Do we take? Do we, do we go with the Knight's side? Do we take uh, the Chancellor's side and say, what do we do? Or do we go to the Duke and say, yeah, I like money. Money's better than people or money or, or security. I'm going to say, uh, safety first. Let's get ourselves an army. Because I want to... I Show that part of the game, especially. Um, we must remain on guard and, and and procure the means to defend and fortify our fledgling kingdom. Twas not long since we side by side took up arms in defense of our beloved land and a king. Uh, yeah, he's in, he's kind of smug over there. Okay, gotcha, got it. Um, hear from the duke. Uh, yeah, I agree, Sir Hayward. Sorry, I wasn't really listening. Okay. So he's he's honored to have my support. He informs me that his troops have secured the resources needed for some fences. Constructing fences will help your citizens feel secure. Oh, interesting. So I did fiddle, uh, fiddle with this a little before, and I got apples. So it doesn't matter who you pick there as my reward, as my bonus. Maybe some event unlocks and all that stuff. Let's get out of this menu. Um, pause real quick. Uh, actually, let's go down. We're going to, like, single speed here. Uh, we got diplomacy, which there's other towns out there in the world, and there can be real people if you play multiplayer, of course. Uh, there's trade with these other towns. Um, edicts, which is where we'll see taxes and festivals or whatever will come in here. And then there's the jobs. So we've got um, how many unemployed, where they're all working, that kind of thing. Which, in, in fact, there is zero unemployed, which that means zero things being like, they're not really unemployed, you know? That kind of thing. Something like 
That's probably a good, better idea. So we got some folks that are hanging around that can do like hauling and all that stuff. Cheap today we're playing Thrive Heavy Lies the Crown is the name of the game. Mouthful. Uh, resources are displayed in my top right of my screen. They sure are. Customized resources displayed by clicking on them. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Uh, we need homes, it says. So let's build some farmer houses. This is farmer means it's a farmer class of house. And I think we'll do something like um, that. It wants, it wants uh, 12 of these guys. I know things like to be, like they need to be near the well. We'll have to build another well to get all these guys covered. Um, well, there's there's 12 right there. So we'll get that started. I wonder if I should just move these guys around so they're not, so they're at least within the range of the well. You know what I'll do? I'll just build another well. And in fact, I'm going to keep it a little bit. Ooh, that well's got the shakes. Like that. So we got plenty of, of well coverage. Because I want to be well covered. <laughs> you may not like my jokes, but... Oh well. 4, 8, 10. Well, you know what? Um, you don't become a YouTuber by uh, going to math classes. We'll make 13. Something like that. Never know how these, gonna, how these things are going to play out because I... Um, oh, storage isn't nearby you. Is that is storage out of range of you? Oh, yeah, I guess I guess it is. Does that matter? It probably does. So you're going you're gonna to collect resources and send them over there. We'll see what it says. Let's see what it says. You know, that's I call that a that, I call that a nook dozen. Oh, so you're not in range of of that guy, which is what you're complaining about. Okay. Well, I suppose if what if you have somebody like working there? Is that, is that oh that, maybe that's probably someone working there. Um, yeah, it has me build all this stuff. And there's not really any any. Let me go lower this. There's not really a reason to have food storage because there's there's no food making happening right now. So there's somebody in in the well. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We might still be short on people. So we got two people working that well. Three people over there at the, the stockpile. Let's go like that. Anybody want to work over here? Where's my jobs? We do have four unemployed folks. Employs a farmer, but... He ain't doing it. And I wonder if it is because it's away from this. But I can't keep everything in that range. Hmm. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll... Maybe it just needs to be built. That might be what it is. That symbol means... No available storage in range. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Well, let's just... Re let's fix you then. And let's move you, I guess, over here. So you're like, like, like maybe there, I guess. That's good enough, I think. Still not good? That, that, that is good, but that is not good. Okay. Okay, so we'll have, have, have a lot of storage around here. Make sure we keep everything in, in range. Thanks! So you think that, that well placement was swell? <laughs> Thanks. I do have the graphics like cranked to the max. Uh, it didn't make any difference when I, when I lowered it a bit, so. We'll see how it goes. Um, I suppose we can tone it down a little bit. But it doesn't look too terrible. I'll probably say in about 20 frames a second or something. It's not the worst. Okay, get to work. Let's go 3x. Get to work. 
Um, what else do we have to look at over here? So labor laborers is the next step of, of class of people. Um, which will, they'll do other jobs. Uh, there's a wood chopper over here. I probably should get that guy. He's gonna get logs for the homes. Yeah. Let's, let's chop some woods. We'll pop him over here. We'll go ahead and get him started over there. Hopefully we get some people moved in here once these houses get built. It'd be nice if I could zoom in a little more. This is as far as I can go. There's all the farmer houses. It's kind of quiet. Turn it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm on ultra graphics. Nope, maybe it's potato. Which one is it? I'll put it on high, see if it changes anything. Typically, it's not graphics that causes any issues with spins at this point. Mm, might be a little better. We'll get that guy done. We'll get this well done. And uh, one of the other interesting... So we'll get we'll get to this. Um, but not only do we go like out, out here and we can go trade or whatever, we'll send our caravans like actually out in, in armies, out RTS style across the bridges and all that stuff. We'll have like barbarian camps pop up. Kind of Civ or, or like Age of Empires blending style there. And um, we'll have to go take those guys out. Otherwise, they'll come over and they'll start, you know, taking my stuff. Yeah, we can't do any food planting yet. But we'll get them. We'll get them. We got a bunch of farmers, but we got no food actually happening. But we'll get that. I think that's what's going on next. There's a pork ranch. Nice. I love a good pork ranch. Got mills and foresters. There's the firehouse. What else we got in here? So this is all the basic, like the bare basic level stuff. We got military structures. We got There's the caravan, so we can send those guys out to go build all the settlements. Uh, there's the armory, the barracks, there's like bowyers. There's the fences. And he gave me, what did he give me? He gave me logs? Is that what he gave me? Which would give us more stuff. There's the bowyer. There's a trader's hut, which we'll set, we'll build out other places. Fishing dock, whenever we get to a place that has the, the ability to do that. Blacksmith, infirmary. There's war and military. And do I have a caravan? I, oh, I do have a caravan. That's what you are right there. I can, I can move you, I can pack you up and move you around. Pack you back up for travel. We can load you up with stuff and send you out to go and build another town or whatever. You gave me ten fences, huh? How do I put those fences out there? There's a bridge. Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, there's an apple orchard, which I'm going to need here in a minute. So we got, we got hemp, we got herbs, flax, some vineyards. Fancy, fancy. Yeah, so I guess we'll, we'll unlock them in a minute. Thanks for the fences that I can't use, jerk. Okay, farmer house constructed. They may actually may not be able to get to these because they were out of range. Actually. If anything, it's going to give me two extra people. Range too. I'm not sure what is. Um, oh, they're just doing the well first. Okay. Prioritize that one. But get that well done, because I know we're gonna have we're gonna have fires. It's gonna be real bad. It's gonna be real annoying. So we don't want that happening. Clayman Games, thank you for the subscription and the 16 months of subscribing. Thank you very much. Okay, the wells are working. The wood's uh, making it here. We need wood and stone. They're all hitting that way. And these folks are over here doing the job. And we've got four unemployed, which we could make more. But I think we got we got tons of stones, tons of sticks. I think we're all set there. We're going to need people working these farms here in minutes. Whenever we get them done. Okay, that's an extra special house. It's got a star. Make it fancy. I don't, I don't want it like all the other houses. Explore the housing interface. Click one of your housing. Your new houses. Okay, I'll click that special one. Uh, building health. Uh, happiness level. May affect effect, uh, effects on the house. Building health drops if the building is damaged by fire, attacks, or revolts. When health drops below maximum, it repair, requires repairs. Uh, and there's the people that live there. Old Jim Barker lives over there. 
can hold four people in this place. These guys need certain things. There's also events that's tell me what's going on. Uh, it's clean here. Taxes are good. Uh, no rubbled buildings in the territory. Excellent. Uh, a big a big part here is going to be right above my head here is the needs. So we want to we want to solve these needs. They want to be near certain things. Um, I think that is. They don't tell me what it is yet. So like it's you know it just says default because it's not quite there yet. Um, but those will will help with each of these. And actually, I guess I don't have all these. Oh, that one does have it. What is that? It's not a well. It must. Oh, it's that. It's the stockpile. They want to be near the stockpile. So I'm going to have to go move into the stockpile over here. And then that last one with a fire. I'm not sure what that is. It might. It, we'll, hopefully we'll get it. But fulfilling the needs directs their ha uh, 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 fills up their happiness. So, obviously. Um, yeah, I'll put a stockpile over here. That will just solve a lot of issues. We'll set one here in the end. Which is not lined up quite right. Or something like that. And if anything, we can put more trees over here with these, or tree choppers over here where the trees are. Uh, click happiness on the resource bar. Uh, oh. Okay, there's happiness. People get happy when there's uh, low taxes. And um, if we don't make them happy, they revolt. We don't like that. Okay, jobs on the job menu. I've already shown that. Our wood choppers, uh, like the workers required to operate, adjust it. So we have a higher priority. Okay. Uh, Sir Ozzy and Hayward brings before you a young man. He followed the caravan and nearly for nearly the entire trek. Careful to keep his distance. He claims he's an orphan that the well the Welgrim, the bad funky fog, brought illness to his village, which was just thrown a stone's throw from the Aldemore gates. He asks for a place in your new settlement. He looks for a home amongst us, or so he says. What he says is little, but the truth is in it. There is truth in it. He quivers before you. He's eight or ten. He's dirty. His eyes are shy. Brave journey, yet a cautious one. If you wanted to join our settlement, why didn't you speak up as we traveled? Why wait? Can't find an answer. He doesn't speak. Um. So I can say, what happened to your family? It is rare to see such sadness in the eyes of one so young. I can say, trust this child. To trust this child is to put all at risk. Yeah, it's rare to see such... Uh, what happened to your family? That, I don't want to ask that. It's rare to see such sadness in the eyes of one so young. I say that. He's been through much. He perseveres. His eyes are watery. He's sad. Uh, what about his family, I say? They were of the trades. Uh, he nods. Okay. Let's find you a willing trade master. Perhaps we're too trusting. What happened to your family? Um, trade. Yeah, yeah. You were eight years old. Go get yourself a screwdriver. A uh, child is brought before the finest tradesmen who are ever eager to pass their knowledge and skills to a willing apprentice. They question the boy, taking their time to determine the place placements. And with their guidance, a new citizen and tradesman will arise and the kingdom shall be better for it. Hooray! We found an eight-year-old tradesman. Okay, anyway, back to the, this thing. We'll bump this up, and we can adjust, you know, job priorities, basically. Okay. Uh, each class, we got we got farmers, we got laborers uh, classes as well, and our province name is Edith. Hey, Skull, how's it going? People want apples. And just like real life, people are real, real, get real mad if they don't have apples, but when they get apples, they get real happy. So let's give them some apples. And we're gonna apple. We're gonna apple within the green area. So we're gonna apple over here. Um, I always forget to click and hold. Click, and I think it's okay to go outside the area. We'll just do that. There we go. Apples. Apples there. Make them apples. How about them apples? Oh, well, you already stole my joke. <laughs> I said apple, and then you've got it already. All right. Well. I'm going to take a little break here, but um, before, we, before we break, what did the hot dog say when it had to poop? I mustard. Let's go plant some apples. Here we are. Apples. And we got three people unemployed. That's good. We'll have some people walking around doing 
not hauling and stuff. And uh, we're going we're gonna to wait till these apples actually come in before we can do anything. So we'll wait for that. Uh, we're getting into the storage over here so we can build a little bit on this side. But I, I think it's mostly going to be focused around like we'll have like a farm over here, probably a farm on this side. And then we'll have to do something on the other side. We've got a lot of, a lot of nothing over there. What's that clock up there mean? Unknown error. That's not good. That's not a sign that you want to see. Maybe there was maybe there was too much work for these guys. Maybe there wasn't enough work. No, no, there are two wells nearby. I'm just scared of things burning down. There's a lot of things. Yeah. So like, what's diplomacy like in the game? There's a lot of things in here that that are probably not here yet. Hopefully we'll get to, we'll get to see them. I haven't s messed with a lot of the stuff later on in like the later game stuff. Um, but you can see some of the stuff over there with that. Um, it, it may may feature more in. Um, in multiplayer, I don't know though. We'll see. the The trade routes are going to become imp important because we have to trade between like our towns. We're going to build a town, like a, we're going to build a grain town here in a minute. We have to make sure our, tr our grain is going over. Look how fast those apple trees grow! Incredible. We're just laying on the road. Wow. It's a fancy species there. Um, if I need more, I don't know how many? How many how many houses? Do I have enough housing for my people? How do I see that? I'm not sure where that number is at. Uh, need supplies. Are, um, um, we need 40 farmers. Make sure people are happy. Okay. That should be it. Well, we, yeah, we got... It's it's four per house, and we got more than ten. So. What can we see on people? Let me pause here and grab somebody. You there. There's Arlene Romano. Let's see if we can change her name. She seems to be stuck. She's mad because she doesn't have any apples. She's carrying a couple of logs. She's happy about the tax rate. No rubble buildings. Territory is spotless. Oh, we can actually see her route, too. Yeah, she's walking. Nice. I, I like that. I like that. For logistics. Whenever logistics is, is important in games, it's nice to see that. So we can see, like, what we need to be fixing. So she's basically just going from... Um, that's a storehouse? Oh, oh, the wood chopper. Okay. I'm not sure why there's wood over here. But oh well. We could probably do for having, like, less on this side and probably, like, more over there. Because this is the place that's going to be grabbing people, grabbing supplies from over here. And I assume you're in range. Yeah. If not, there would have been a problem. And I'll actually increase your range a little bit. Grab those trees over there. There you go. Okay, and and I think is that blue telling me how many how much ore is actually in range? Oh, look at that! That's a handy little thing. It's kind of annoying, but it's 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 like ugly, but it's very handy. I like that. Everything has a nice nice beige tone to it. Farmer left my colony. What do you go and do that for? That's firewood. They want firewood. You got apples now. Well, joined your colony. Okay, okay. You don't have firewood or apples. But you are in range of the of the place. I think we're just waiting for more apples to come in. I think is what's going on. So we'll wait for that. And I guess I'll put another person here. I think that's what that okay, that's what that means. I don't know. It goes away when I put more people in. Can be upgraded. There's the tech tree and the upgrade tree, so we can upgrade like a, like a farmer house bonus, wood chopper bonus. I can't click on that one yet. Okay. And this is my my happy. No, oh, this is the uh, the oh yeah the well the whalegrim whalegrim. This is the funk. And is that the funk right there? Maybe not. It's very very. I think we'll I think we'll see it when it shows up here at 100. percent We'll see it. Hey, Tom, how's it going? As long as those are those are heavily supplied, I think we'll be good. What if I should do another apple farm? These people are complaining about not having enough apples. We've got them, but maybe they uh, maybe they take too long to get 
over uh, here. I guess there's four in storage. Squeeze another apple farm like right here next to it. Do I have people to work another apple farm? Not really. Oh, yeah, one, per one person to work on that field, period. That could also be a problem. What's the most important job? How many people are working here? Let's do one person at that well. And one person at that well. And... Let's tone these down. Oh, yeah. Tone these down a bit. There we go. Okay, so now the orchard is working. On all thrusters. Now we're good. And then, you know, I'm going to put one more guy back in here. Just to make sure, because if something like catches on a fire or whatever, we want to make sure that someone's there to put that thing out. Okay. And you know what? Um, should I be a go-getter and get and get started on something else? It still has this lit up like it wants me to make more, more, more houses. Why that? Why? Why? Um... Let's see. So which upper we got it? Yeah, we got everything made. So, um, there's the thing we have 10 of. We need 60 farmers. We can unlock these, this fence and finally put them in. I do want to get done soonish. You guys got your apples yet? You do have apples now. Okay. And you are maxed out. Too much firewood, huh? Okay. 28 people in town. More houses in. We'll stick one over here. We don't need them, but we'll put them in. And uh, oh yeah, it is. I think it. I think it is spreading. I don't know. We'll see that in a minute. People are joining now. I don't know why these houses all only have two people living in all of them. Maybe we do want to put more houses in. We need apples. Having this up to 88%. 34 people now. Whispers. So Haywood has come to you with an unsettling report. The corpses of three animals, guts removed, adorned a makeshift altar within a farmer's house. Sense of rot and incense lingered in the air. Strange blood markings on the walls indicated the ritual had taken place. You and Hayward try to make sense of what has occurred. No, I run away. Spain, speak plainly, Ozian. Is this that kid? See nothing like it before. Whatever connected to this ritual must be from must be from these lands. Unusual symbols on the walls of the main room centered around the altar. Upon the altar remains of three animals, their hearts pulled from them, missing, encircling these corpses, those crystals, the ones that spring up around the province. Hmm, I'd like to know more, says says me. It's that kid, I know what it is. Um What are those strange crystals? Uh, like those we found in the fields, meadows, they spring up all over uh, in all manner of places in Nizamore. Nothing like them ever existed in Aldemore. That's where we are now. Uh, these are the magenta ones, the ones that seem to cause confusion and lightheadedness when nearby. The very same. At the core, they appear to be movement. That reminded me of that little, that ill fog, that fateful day. Maybe the Chancellor can look into this. Uh, yeah, what about them hearts? I'm concerned about that. Uh, maybe they're a key to the ritual. Uh, which, which creatures? They are cut from the carcasses of three animals. A lynx, a jackal, and an adder. A snake heart? Tell me more about these symbols. Crudely drawn, formed from what seemed to be a mixture of mud and blood. A mixture of mud and blood? Uh, they Perhaps they were images or words. Whatever they were, they seemed significant. 
a mystery. I know who it was. Okay, thanks, Ozian. Uh, equipment magicians are, yeah, yeah, threats. Um, why do people leave my colony? Okay. Let's find the purpose of the, this ritual. Um, yeah, let's learn about these symbols. What kind of ritual demands hearts? Let's ask that. Ozian sends off a scout to a neighboring village, three days' journey from the settlement, and rumored to have a native herbalist. He hopes that their wisdom might provide insight into why the heart of a lynx, jackal, and adder were needed for this ritual. Okay, yeah, get to work, buddy. I'm gonna make more ha more for houses, I guess. Um, that's the only thing idea, only idea I, ha I have here. I'm not sure why I'm not getting my um, my 40 people. But we'll try that. Where would you get a jackal? <laughs> yeah, that's, the other that's a good question. Seems like maybe maybe it's only two adults and, and kids that live in each house. Maybe that's what it is. If that pop-up popped up, I missed it. I know, it's kind of rare for me to miss, to miss pop-ups, but every once in a while I miss them. Usually I'm the tooltip king. That's that's what my kids call me. Um, acquiring access to new resources. Uh, hemp is the cornerstone of textiles. It's a good way to bring in making finer, finer stuff. So make a hemp farm, it says. Okay. So we can stick it next to the apples, I suppose, over here. Hemp land? Sure. I dub the implant. Uh, a purple meter. A purple meter. Look. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's my Walgrim one. Oh, did we hit 100? percent We did. Uh, Walgrim is bad. When it fills up, you'll experience a Walgrim surge. Unpredictable outcome that will occur in one of your occupied provinces. After this, the meter, the meter will empty, and then re and then go back up again. But things get freaky in purple around here. Okay. Yeah, freaky and purple. And I think we'll find somewhere around here. Last um, time I had those, those crystals popped up on me. I'm not seeing them this time, though. Freaky crystals. I'm not seeing any this time, though. Oh, oh, there they are. There's those crystals. Oh, is that like a swamp over there? Huh. Look at that. Yep. And those will those will expand expand over time. Seem to be doing a bad job of of not not destroying all the trees, buddy. I'll bump you all out there. Hemp farm now allows us to create luxury goods for our farmers, like clothing. Yeah, they've been naked all along. Now they got this luxury of clothing. So let's make an outfitter. And it's big guy, isn't it? Um, I think he's he's always oh, out of range of the. He needs to be in range of of a stockpile, and that is just outside of range. And he's jumbo. So I think it's okay to put him put him over here. I always find it difficult on these games that have like these like these ranges. It's kind of weird that this one's square on all these ranges, but it's always find it difficult on these on these to like find. Like, there's a puzzle mechanic to it, I'm trying to find make sure things match up, make sure you're building like little suburbs so they all connect up and all your production stuff in one. You know, I'm not sure how I feel about it. There's a box, a resource crate, collect it with a caravan. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, that guy's gonna get built, and we'll go and get. Does it take hemp to make a to make a hemp an outfitter? And some rough stones, a lot of those. Also, we have no apples again. Yeah, 
There's a shortage of apples in this land. Um, I wonder if I should do another one or if I should just wait and get... We'll get more food somewhere else. I wonder if I should do this, though. I don't want to go, like, outside my, my, my border here, the food border. But we do... I can, maybe I could, like, just, like, can I squeeze it in here, you think? I don't really want to because I think I'd rather have buildings in there. If there's something over here. I keep trying to click and drag. It doesn't work that way. More farm. I think it's okay to be to be over here. I guess we'll find out. Actually, let's do that and see if that is acceptable. Now we get some apples in this place. This place is, is oh wood chopper yeah yeah okay there's more resources over there too which I guess this guy could go in and scrounge up okay outfitter is almost done ooh this one's stone all right. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that mechanic. It, it helps with, like, keeping your town, like, sort of subdivided, kind of modern town style. Um, I don't know how I feel about it with, like, a medieval setting, though, because you're not going to have, you're not going to have suburbs in a medieval setting. People are going to kind of pop their house, kind of, amongst the town. So I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, what's up with you? Um, you need, uh, things. I don't care about you, I want to care about this. You're making some hemp clothing. Excellent. We can make leather clothing as well. Three people working in there. We have people hanging around doing other things. Yeah, four extras. Okay, so they make 48 clothing. The models are good. I like the, the look of all these things. Four people in there. We can probably support more, more people. Um... I, this is a little bit too skinny to fit a house in there. Which would have been nice. Oh, there's the outfitter. Uh, lumber yard. Oh, I got a new thing. A new one here. A fermenter. Cider and, and all that. Let's get the lumber yard. Makes planks. We're going to need him in a minute. I think what I might do actually is make... This will be farmer land on this side. And maybe we'll do... On the other side will be... Um, uh, laborer land or whatever it's called. The... Uh, yeah, laborer is the other the other class. But there's a couple games that do it well, um, where it's not necessarily like the in the incentive of putting things like putting your houses next to the tavern is not is not is not that it has a set range that it actually works. It's just that whenever people the logistics of it, how much of their day is going to be spent walking to that tavern so that they have time to walk to their job or whatever, you know. And that's that's the incentive of building things close, not not the mechanic of uh, you're you're across the street. Sorry, you don't get, you don't get benefits of that of that market over there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure which I'm not sure how I feel about that. Which which I like better. Because the other, the other, the, the the other side of that is it can also be kind of frustrating if you um, if you can't figure out why things aren't getting done because your 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 logistics is so poorly set up. Um, it can be frustrating, especially if you're new to the game, why things aren't working right. Issue with banished is things they would they would just pick random houses to live in. Yeah. Um, um, f um, foundation I think does it really well where people will live where people will live near their houses. They seem to have that that down. Uh, but yeah, if that if that mechanic isn't isn't set well, then yeah, it certainly that certainly is the problem. 
Uh, entertainment is key. It wants me to go and produce a fermenter to make cider. Great way to, to placate the people. This is going to make beer and mead. We got to build a fermenter. Um, doesn't do me a lot of good. Oh, yeah, yeah cider. We can, make, we can make it out of, right, out of uh, apples. Uh, can I fit this guy anywhere? I'll put him right here. This game's solution is, um, it's, so I guess it's a little bit of both. Things have to be within range. Like there is, a, there is a line, definitely. The people, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem to matter for the people except for the stockyard or the whatever the, well, stockyard and the well for sure. Um, but there also there is that clearly is factored in there because you can click on somebody, and you can see where they're walking and how far they're walking. Look at this guy right here with a hat, so you can see what he's doing. He's going from. Apple land over here to food land. That's where they're going. These guys are over here walking to to here. Taking the hemp, I guess, over here. And she's walking all the way from... Looks like our house. Oh, maybe she's going to the to here. Nimble Thimble. Chancellor Declan brings you news of a promising development uh, at the Outfitters. A talented seamstress has discovered a new stitch. Could increase productivity. Okay, okay. Um, so what's wrong with keeping our traditions? If this new stitch is so good, we should try it. How much time was given to such a discovery? You know what? Yeah, if, if it works, go for it. We have begun again. We have begun again, and new beginnings invite new traditions. What would our fallen kings say? Maintain tradition, move ahead with a new stitch, or we must weigh these results against the time it took to find them. I don't, go, go for it. Plus 5% increase to the outfitter production. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, Anno style, for sure. Okay, we shall ferment, and um, we, we will fight soon enough. Um, I think we'll, we'll get there. I think we're getting there pretty soon. What are these? A bunch of... What is all this? Boxes? Oh, rocks. <laughs> rocks. These guys, I think I think I might need to move these guys over here. This is a way better place for them. Look at all these trees. Not a lot of rocks over here, though. Anything over this side? No, not a lot of rocks. Why are you paused? I think you're in range, but maybe maybe not. Doesn't tell me you're not in range. Let me hire somebody over here. I have zero unemployed. The lumberyard only has three people in it. It's fine. Yeah, I worry you're too far away. I was hoping that by just catching the corner, it would be okay. Maybe not. Um, I could maybe... Maybe that'll help things. Ooh, sidestepping. Um, a lot of these things did say they do upgrade. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Hmm. Right with collect and deliver food to your people within its, its influence. It may not be a bad idea to have actually over here anyway. I'll put something else on that side, because this is where all the people live. And the farm. Well, then that's actually not food, is it, though? So there's anything wrong with putting it over on this side? What's the problem? Oh, cider. Okay. Uh, hey there, fermenter. You should so much go work there. Um. Bump you up, 
And I'm going to put the... I'll just get rid of some of these apple folks. Well, I got the apples. Problem is that... Um, here, let me get... A food store. And I'll just put one over here, too. And we, we can grow our town a little bit this way also. Because I think that this... We got both the two things that matter on this side. And this will reach both farms. Yeah. I think it will anyway. Let's make a small range. Like if... If you like, if you work at this apple farm, you can see the tower of the of the granary over there, and you're like, nope, I ain't walking that far. They don't pay me to walk that far. I pick these apples, and I walk 30 feet. More than that, I don't walk. That's my apple farmer impression. You still need people working here? Okay, let's uh drop you down. Crystalline. Strange crystalline formations have crept their way throughout your province. They seem harmless at first, but in large clusters, those who venture near them find themselves overtaken with nausea. The Curia gathers to discuss the matter. Advice caution. Crystals? Uh you mean gems, he says. Money. Um determined to, we don't know about those crystals. What's wrong with them? They're making people sick, we think. Commotion comes from beyond the throne room. Gasps and feeble attempts to halt the stranger who now stands before you. They outstretch their arms to you. Within them, a stranger? A large cluster of those crystals. Cradled upon their flesh. No signs of weakness, malady, or struggle. Hello, creepy stranger. They don't harm me. Would you like to know why? Who invited you? Exactly what I just said. Why should I grant you an audience, and who are you? Be because, uh, Aldemore had no guidance in these things and how quickly it met its demise. I do not wish the same for you. He places the crystals upon the floor before you, slowly reaching into their cloak and withdrawing some parchments. With this, your stores can withstand the crystal's power. In time, you'll see their full potential. You accept the parchment and uncoil it. Oh, it's some, something along the lines of we haven't seen our full... We haven't reached our full potential yet. Okay, I understand. Etched upon the page is a recipe. A special oil that will preserve the crystals while suppressing their volatile nature. The requirement seems so simple, and you have many questions. But today, there will be no answers. You look up. The stranger is gone. I got... I can now stockpile crystals. Alright. Who was that again? Get them out of my lands. Drop that down to two. Um, are you working yet? I need people. Uh, here, let me go make some more houses. Since apparently these, these houses lie. They say they hold four. They do not hold four. I missed the memo about them holding two. Bit of that road here. Oh, whoops, that's a silly way of doing roads, isn't it? Demolition? Maybe I will make that house. It doesn't want demolished? Fine. The witch from Cinderella. I picture starving people walking out of that nearby house saying, saying too far, guess we'll starve. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, it worked. Okay. I've been destroyed by a player initiation. What does that mean? I get it. Okay. Okay. Houses are noisy. Okay, we got a little skinny aisle here. Well, maybe we can put some trees or something in there. Fences. I don't know. Something in there. You still don't have anybody working there? Yeah, yeah. 
The houses aren't built yet. Um, what do we take away from? I think we still need those, don't we? Well, no, we don't. We got the, we got the clothes. So we don't, we don't need that anymore. Um, working over there now. There we go. Finally. Okay, and you're producing hemp, and you but you can reach the the storage place, so it's no big deal. We can make a road over here, connect over this to this guy. Which I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go something like this, and then over. Some weird noises out there. I'm kind of scared about going outside there. You guys okay with all this? There's still only two crystals. They aren't growing. Don't listen to that stranger. They don't know what they're talking about. You have any more bunches of crystals? I don't think so. It's all just fine. There's another one. It's okay. Just stay away from them. Alright, the cider is happening. Good. Give me some more people in here. It is strange that they don't hold. Happiness is good. I don't know how to, how to get happiness any higher. They want luxury and they want some clothes and cider. They think they're fancy. It's strange that every house only holds two people, even though it says it holds four. But I suppose it's a family. It must be a family. Okay. I'm saying production. Top right pane displays the health and happiness of certain buildings. Got it. Uh, select the fermenter I just built. Already done. Already done. There's production. We can tell what what to make. Do we want to make flu cures, beer, or cider? People employed there. We know all this. And now we have enough planks. Uh, we do. I made that. Uh, we can build a laborer's house. Uh, also, we need to build a tavern as well. Okay. Laborers are the new uh, kind of folk. And they're over here. So we got laborer house and taverns. These, I think they need to be... They do need to be near, near a food man. Is that what it is? Or there's a well. And then the food guy is the green. I guess we could do them over here. We'll build another well. We could have a um, this side. Because the food guy is right there. We can get a road that like leads, I don't know, this way. And make this labor land. I don't know what the, re where the reach of that was. Hmm, that's okay. And we'll put in, we need laborer structures, some laborer houses. Um, not really what I want. I guess it'll work. It's not really what I originally had in mind. I mean, you want me to make a farmer Ah, fire! Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Can you guys put that out, please? Where's my well at? Get another well over here. Can can someone can someone put can someone handle that, please? Because I don't have it. I got forty. I got, I got what? No, I don't. Maybe it's forty-two. Maybe because they all quit their jobs to go put the fires out. Uh, a wielding rage. A great commotion stirs just outside the keep. A furious man, sword in hand, claims he'll fight anyone who stands between him and the ruler. He plans to confront. The growing crowd is in awe of the spectacle, and his blade has already managed to inflict serious wounds on some of, the, of Hayward's soldiers. The Duke and the Chancellor believe they know best how to handle such violence. One favors punishment, the other compassion. Show barbarity no mercy. Yeah, there's a little bit of a problem in my town here. Can we talk about something else? Uh, treason is what this is. Uh, with blades and aggression. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Example must be made. What do we do? We, um... People, our people must know that their voices matter. 
Uh, Sir uh, Hayward, the fate rests with you. For such acts of violence and defiance cannot be tolerated. The Duke is right. Justice must be served. Heads must roll. Sometimes when you give a house to a nine-year-old. <laughs> Cost of treason is death. This may be, it may well be true, Duke. We shall for now confine this man to a cell. In time, we'll decide. No, we decide right now. We lost a farmer. Okay. It's okay, it happens. Okay. Um, I was going to rearrange something. So, yeah, with, with this house, I need to rearrange. I need to do something. I, or move it over or something. Um, okay. So, laborer houses. I need how many of these? I need five of these. And then they want a tavern nearby. So it's something like... Maybe I put a, a gap there. Okay, we'll do this. I'm, I'm doing six because I'm a rebel. Like that. Okay, and let's let's prioritize, I suppose, the, the well. Now, how many people do I have now? It says it's 47 a night with that... Do I have 90? Oh, oh, did I? People just move in? I think people just moved in. Yeah, yeah. People just moved in. Okay, okay. So I do have a ton of unemployed people now. Okay. They're like, wait a minute. There's like a ton of open houses over there. Get the kids, we're moving. I don't think there's a way of, of fixing that. Yeah, we can only sort of like do priorities. We can't actually adjust like where they're working or how many people are working in each place here. Okay. Well, the house is over here. Can we get these things built, please? Stone and, and planks. And I assume you're in range of this guy, so I think you're fine. This doesn't really have a range. It's just those and the well is important. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Storage is, is good. We got 78 apples now. Excellent. We can have a few more folks working over here for more apples. So many apples. We need 64 planks. We have 848. <laughs> um, I think if I'm going to put it, I'll put it... Oh, you know what? Right there would be real nice. Um... Yeah, let's move that road. Okay, that works. Strangely. Okay, tavern will go over here. It's still in range of, of a stockpile. Are you getting made? Where's all my workers? Maybe I am too far away from things. This has the like uh, the little symbol on it, which I don't know what that means. Maybe everybody's busy. I got another hall on things. Yeah, maybe I need them. Maybe there's not enough people working here, so I need I need more people working here. There's where we get like the craftsman and the cookhouse and the trader's house. These are all laborer jobs. Um, there's the pork ranch and a stable. What else we got over here? That's it. Raises pork through the raising of pigs. Enriches the meals in my kingdom. Ooh, that's a big guy. And it lights up what, what's needed, so it doesn't need to be near the food. It just needs to be near the stockpile. I'll cram this guy in over here. Now put him over here. I think it's going to be okay. I hope it's going to be okay. So pigs over there, and we'll get a stable for horses. Like that. The well is happening now. Cool, cool. A storage building nearby what? I hope it's not that one. So we can adjust it, I suppose. Um, I'm thinking maybe they're they're busy, or they're or they're just like 
dumb. What are you doing? You're fired. It is in playtest days. So, so we'll give him a break. Let me get a, uh, I guess I'm going to need another one. Maybe another, another stockyard. Um, this guy can go over here. I got built fast. No, this is not to build it. This is to employ. It still it puts the employ like being able to employ people in it before it's actually. These aren't these aren't the builders. There we go. So now things will get moved over there, and it looks like it. It's like all my stockpiles actually. I just now realized this, which is an important thing to note. My stockpiles share supplies, so um, I should have lots of stockpiles. There's not really any reason to not have them. Then if they stay, if they share stockpile, this. Then yeah, they need to be everywhere. I put one over there. As long as we got people to work it now, throw them everywhere. Can we get these houses made now? Okay. That one needs a road. It looks like even though they don't have a road, they still they still work. Where are these guys going? Oh, chopping trees way over there? Is that from this guy? Yeah, it is. There's a lack of rocks. We can bump this up, though. Not that I need any more rocks. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's a fancy house. What's she doing? She's just sitting there? Come on, Nadia. Just because you're fancy and a laborer. She needs firewood, and she needs uh, this tavern to get built. She also needs some clothes, and she needs... Oh, she wants beer. Yeah, we can't do beer yet. Uh, we don't know how to make grain. And this is where we're going to start getting into a, a, in a neighboring place to go get grain to bring back here so we can have beer for Nadia. I'm zoomed in as, as far as I can get. This is my max zoom in. I'm a little sad about that. I hope, that, I hope they fix that. I hope they change that with the uh, release. I get maybe the maybe the detail isn't where they want it to be if you zoom in too far. Um, but just give me a button. Give me a button that says, like, um, advance zoom. Warning, it won't look as pretty as it should. Just give me the button. Or uh, warning, if you zoom out too far, things will break. But this one, you can zoom out as far as you want. I'm not quite sure where that one is. Is that one? Oh, it's, oh, it's one of the, the trade places we can we can trade with. Is there more of these? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of those. Okay. A house is on fire. It seems to be on this side of town. I have a well. Is it that one over there that's the closest? Maybe I should stick one over here. Seems to, it seems to burn quickly. Oh, yeah, that's okay, though. Okay, cool. I imagine having those giant torches outside your, your thatched roof houses probably has something to do with all these fires we're having. You got a giant torch there. You got a big campfire going on. You guys are just asking for it. I'm going to do what I did before and, like, fire everybody and then bring them back. Just make sure that that's working okay. I think that might be a little bit of an issue. You don't place anywhere to store anywhere because we're full. Everything is is full of stocks. Because yeah, I got so many, I got so much uh, wood and stone. And we have twelve hundred firewood. <laughs> Yeah, Thrive. Thrive is the name. Thrive. Uh, Heavy Lies the Crown is the name of the game. There's another game called Thrive. Not that one. You can get in the uh, the open... I think it's open beta right now, actually. I don't think it's closed. Oh, uh, does it say? It just says playtest. So you, you can try... There was, a, there, was a, there was a closed beta December 1st. Oh, yeah, sorry. It is closed beta. 
So you can try to get in there. Um, it comes out here early, early next year. Okay, so house is built. We just gotta get this tavern done. Let's prioritize that. Need hemp for that tavern? What else we got? We have anything over here? We can tax food delivery. We can do a festival. Increases consumption of all goods by 5%. Increases happiness of the people. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can't do those yet. Do we do it? Hey, buddy. You happy? So you don't have firewood for some reason, but there's plenty of firewood. Workers now have a longer work day. Why? Hmm. What are we doing here? Supplies are there. Workers are happening. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, maybe it is building. Those are the builders? Oh, okay. Sorry. Those are the builders. But they don't pop in there until it, they actually get the supplies hauled over there. <clears throat> to get real fancy around here. Cool. Just permanent pig back there. Hey, look, a house is on fire. Kingdom's beginning to take shape, Your Majesty. Time we prepare ourselves to engage in trade. We need a craftsman to create the ropes necessary for shipping, as well as our first trader's hut here at home to exchange goods. So build a craftsman and a trader's hut. Okay, craftsman. Keep everything over on this side of town. This is a like good place for it, I think. Um, anyway, whether I, whether I want to go, like, we could keep that as like a cross street there. And we can put in the trader's hut. Ooh, he's big. Right there. There we go. This stuff looks pretty good. I'm really interested to see if it shows it on here. So, like, whenever... So, if you have a happy town, it's going to look one way. If you have a, like, an a, um, a evil town, it's going to look a little different. I don't know that they show that in the screenshots. It's in, like, the... It's in the, it's in the trailer is where it shows it. Um, there you go. Benevolence or tyranny. So, you got, like... There you go. There's evil town. Happy town. So check that out. That's that's neat. And then there's the RTS kind of fighty times, which we'll get to. We could do as much as we can. I think it said that the playtest has got like three hours of gameplay or whatever. So we'll get as much as we as we can here, or at least a decent amount of it. There's a craftsman for that, for that uh, nine nine year old can go work. You making ropes? Okay. I don't think I tell you what to serve. You just serve whatever. Yeah, people just gather there. And it it does it does have a range. So yeah, keep our our um. I don't think the farmers care. The farmers don't need it. Which they do have a lack of clothes for some reason. We 
right, 44 cider. Is this guy working all right? Yeah. I wonder when it's time. When it, I wonder when it's time to start building multiples of these things. We have a ton of apples, none of those, and I think maybe my like I got a ton of hemp, but not a lot of clothes. So maybe my um, my my where is he at? Just um, I forget where my where my tailor is. That's the stockpile, and then oh yeah, pork ranch. Why didn't you guys ever get made? Oh, they need ropes. That's why. Um, where did I put that tailor at? I thought it was over here. Outfitter, that's it. Okay, yeah, I was just gonna them. So, they are taking hemp. Which, you know what the problem might be? Because these guys are over here, and, and to get to a stockpile, it's not that far. But, in game terms, I think it is pretty far to get over there. So, maybe there's nothing wrong with putting in another stockpile. Like, right next to this farm, so they can just pop out. Dump it in, pop back. It seems to go... It seems to go to this one over here. That's the one that seems to be, like, overloaded. So let's do one over here. Let me build it before this happens. No! <laughs> okay. Envoy arrived from the kingdom called Wormaxa. Proclaims them as rulers of all Nizamor. Ardent defenders of its customs and culture for centuries. Well, let me tell you about this new sewing technique we have. They proclaim that as outsiders, your kingdom must pay annual tithe. 10% of your earnings are now theirs. Would you like some firewood? Request the envoy wait outside. Uh, they ask us uh, a bunt. They have no right, he says. We should consider the request. Uh, whether we pay them or not, the situation remains less than ideal. Exercise caution, he says. I say, um, you choose with the peaceful path, no doubt, Chancellor. Your caution would have us hold off, Sir Hayward. They ask too much. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. You think the request's rude? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, or postpone the tithe. Shakes his head in disbelief. He'll be back with friends. More fires going on, but there's a well right there. It doesn't seem to auto pause when those things pop up. I'm sure that'll get changed. Okay, Trader Hut. If only I could have. Can I have those walls yet? Oh, I can. Fences. Okay, Trader Hut established. We should focus on locating unique valuable resources like wheat, iron, fish. Not found in our province. We gotta get a caravan and deploy it. Once it's deployed, we're gonna load with resources. Okay, let me slow down a little bit. Um, you. So we're gonna, we're gonna deploy you. Pack up. Okay, it's so now ready to be loaded with goods. Go to the... With it selected, go to the auto load button. And click. They'll load the minimum into there. So we click on you. Oh, here. And then we click. Hello? Is that how we do that? Move you around. Do I want to like... Is that what I'm going to do? Or do I want to deploy you first? And then... Auto. I gotta auto load first. Yeah, do that. Okay, storage and range. There you go. Okay, so that's taking hundred logs, hundred stone, and twenty farmers. Okay, pack it up. Wait for them to load it up, then we'll pack it up. Okay, but while they're doing that, let's go build ourselves a fence. What this? You give me this six of these? What's that gonna defend? <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I guess we can block our northern flank, whatever direction this is. Excuse me. Oh, a Welgrim surge. Yeah. 
You got I gotta pay money for these things? But I thought they were a gift. There's some real funky stuff out there. Corner fence. Cool, it sure is expensive. I'm not sure what that means. It means like it needs a road there. Does it need a road there? No connection to road. Need a road there? It's kind of awkward. Okay. Actually, I didn't even connect it. I just put a road there. Weird. Okay. Well, anyway, build that thing up. Uh, what do you What do you want? I don't know. Okay. So are you are you packed up now? No, not packed up at all. We'll, we'll get there. People are confused about it. If they're hauling things over there. It's just going to be a little bit, I guess. Okay, and are people coming over here? Did we say there's bad dudes? Is that what we saw? People are, um... I don't think so just yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. That's kind of cool, though. Look at that. I kind of want some more. I don't know that this is being done. I think this guy is, is a little confused about things. Misty. Need a reset on you. They're working up towers. Are they going through that? I'm just going through the wall. Okay. It's called Thrive Heavy Lies the Crown. Can't pack you up, huh? Hmm. I'm a little messed up with this guy. I need to kick everyone out, but... Yeah, Karen's a little broken. I can... I think I can make another one. Yeah, let's make an, Let's just make another one. It's clearly a little busted. Can I delete it? Oh yeah, take that thing apart. Everyone's everyone's confused about this thing. So yeah, get, get that thing apart. Get that out of here. Okay. Back to jumbo speed. Oh look, another fire. Um, maybe we should get a well over here. Well, it's really it's right there. So, I don't know. We are down to only 11 un unemployed people. Surprisingly. And... Is that another... No, no, that's just the traitor. Who is that guy? No. Oh, a traveling merchant. I can buy things from you, huh? Um, would you buy things from me? Like, if I give you some of this... Um, what do I have? I got a lot of logs... So if I give you that, you give me iron tools. Is that a good deal? Oh, it worked. Okay. Thanks. Uh, give me, um, not anything else. Uh, give me some ropes. You don't want any of those anymore.
Okay. Well, yeah. Thanks. Okay. Can we, like, um, do something about these fires? I think we might have, might have, have bugged something out. I, I, I fear. Do that. We getting this one put out yet? Yeah. I think we might be a little bugged out. We're running around now. Maybe things are getting put out now. I'm not sure if there's a save. I hope there is. Let me, um... Oh, there isn't an autosave. Okay, let's save and then come back to it. Maybe that'll just fix things. Because, yeah, we're, uh... We're a little busting. Hopefully it'll save. I really want to see. We're just just getting to the, the juicy bits, and I really want to get to it. I really want to see it. I don't know. Does it take that long to save? <laughs> it's what I get for playing playtests. Uh, I can't play the game now. Uh oh. Man, if we went all this way and it's not going to let me continue this, I'm going to be real b upset. But understanding because it's a playtest. No one plans for Okay. Please tell me it's saved. Okay, good, good, good. Yep, that one. How do I do it? Uh buggy. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, it's all right. I just really wanted to see the, um, I want to see the RTS, like the, the, we we're just getting to, I was just getting ready to build my caravan and go out and build a settlement, another settlement, a, uh, like a satellite uh, settlement. And once that gets built, we get people attacking us. We get to see the, the fighty stuff. And I was really wanting to see that. So that, that's what makes this different than any other, than, than banished or whatever. <clears throat> there we go. Small snapshot of what's planned for full release. Come on, thrive. Please thrive. Game like Rimworld with a similar premise. Um, is it, uh, there's no, I, I, what's it called? Um, I saw it. Yeah, what was the name of it? I saw that it came out. I played it a long time ago. Um, oh, I forget what it's called. The stable got built.
Nor yeah, Norland. Yeah, Norland. Yeah, yeah. I played that one a while back. I saw that. I was looking at that one. Um, <sighs> where do stormtroopers shop at? The one next to Target. What's that? That thing. Oh, it's these, isn't it? These cast shadows. <laughs> uh, people get mad before you stand a, a young man and woman tears gracing their cheeks and ashamed you m to meet your gaze Hayward informs you that they have been caught stealing from the food market how dare you yeah Rimworld graphics yeah 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 I remember that one that's it that's all you got Gretchen has been has joined my colony welcome Gretchen are you uh what's going on over here Oh, I can't even click on you now. Come on now. I can't click on anything. Oh, I think it's all broken. Oh, man. I can't click anything. Everything's broken. But I really want to see this. Oh, oh, oh. Everything's not broken anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Just got to whine a little bit and everything gets better. Maybe my wall is causing problems. No, wall's fine. Yeah. I don't know. The houses didn't get... Oh, we can repair it. Yeah, we'll just repair those. People are mad because there's dirty... There's dirty stuff, isn't there? You say you don't have any firewood. There's a, a ton of firewood. Oh, I think I might be broken. I just really want to see the new stuff. Let's just hang on a little longer, okay? Just hang in there. We have a ton of hemp. We don't need so much. Apples are getting a little out of control as well. This is going to burn forever. There's no one wants to work there because it's... Why would I work here? It's on fire every day. How's the pork ranch looking? It's making me hungry. Uh, what's wrong with you? You don't have a stockpile on range? Insufficient resources. You need what? You need... Well, you might... Huh. Insufficient resources. What do you need? Oh, they need wheat. We don't have wheat. Okay, yeah, close those down. Um, oh, my other wagon got done, though. Hey, maybe this will work. I want to auto-load this fella. Maybe it'll work. Optimism. We, we need optimism. I hear, I, I hear all you naysayers in chat. Well, we don't need that around here. You're like, why is no one going and picking up uh, firewood? You got 2,000 pieces of firewood. Why aren't they getting it? That's, that's naysaying. Don't do that. Maybe they don't want to get firewood. The farmer left my colony. We didn't want him here anyway. That guy was the worst. Take it back. I don't. I don't really want you to be demolished anymore. I demolished that guy though. I think there's a dev mode to like um, redo some of this stuff. Hmm. I got all excited about this wall and I messed things up. Wood fence all. Oh, we can make a fence that goes all the way. Okay, okay, okay. Right. What's this guy doing? Uh, it's getting some stones. Oh, hey, it's actually doing... It, it's working. It's working. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. It said something along the lines of, like, insufficient resources. I do have them, like, clearly. Maybe... I don't know why it's saying that, actually. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, there's some, there's some funny business over there. 
We're just gonna pretend we don't see that. Um, what are you paused for? We have too many apples in stock, maybe? This this stockpile is always is always having problems. I think I'm out of people again. Yeah, there's, there's there's a little bit of funny business going on over here. I'm not sure what all these these boxes here are. If we ain't got a fermenter, we're gonna have some real troubles. Uh, let me go back. Let's get oh, this toned down. What's with the range? Yeah, tone that down. We don't need so many people in this over here. You're good. Don't need anybody over there. That that one's working. We don't need so many people. That can be down to one. Oh, that's probably fine. This one's always giving me some unknown errors. What if I should just I would just delete it and then put it back in again? But then that. Been some issues with that lately. I'll try it. How's this looking? Okay, we got the stones. We don't have any logs in there yet. Dark pile demolished. Hey, it worked. Okay, okay. I wonder if that tree growing there messed some things up. That guy's paused now, but it'll resume, I assume, once this gets built. Assume, but I, I'm not right. Okay, there we go. Logs are getting hauled in there now. We're getting somewhere. This is a priority, I think. A fermenter needs to get made. Let's get a few more houses in here. Maybe that'll help speed some people along. I'm having different ideas about how my road... Oh, wait. <laughs> my roads are uh, different. Hang on. Ugh. Please don't burn my caravan. See anybody putting these fires out? I assume that's happening. Let's say only one un unemployed. Surely someone's gonna put those fires out as well, right there. You got a range of a stockpile. Actually, I guess I need, I need the clothing people. Tone that down a bit. Let's just guess, let's make sure I have people just not, not you know, hanging out, doing other jobs. Um, regular jobs, I mean. To put that kind of stuff out. Oh, that got rebuilt. Okay. Um... Missing some apples, but they'll be there in a minute. Should. Um, no, not that I not that I know of. Quick access button. I tried Control One. That didn't do anything. Okay, you ready to pack up yet? Almost. Almost. Happiness is, is plummeting. Um, people mad because they don't have any apples, but we have a ton of apples.
Let's say you deliver food to your people. So I think we do need to keep these maxed out to get food delivered everywhere. They don't get it from the houses. They actually del get delivery. I don't think these are gonna get are gonna get fixed or put out. Uh, we can do the uh, can we do the festival again? No, nope. we can do a. Um, I'm not gonna do that. It makes me mad. Hundred. Okay. Okay. Pack it up. Um. Now. Let's move. Okay, so this guy's gonna go drive it to a wheat producing province. All right, let's get out of here. This place is a dump. Over this way. And where do we wanna go? Is there wheat over here? There is wheat over here, there's wheat. Yeah, let's go over this way. Can we cross this? We got a bridge, I think, over here somewhere. Is there a bridge over here? Where's the bridge at? My pork ranch! Uh, wheat requires some fresh hands. Build up a new settlement, it says. Build a wheat farm and all that. Okay, I'm working on it. There's a bridge there. How do we get over this? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we get to go across a bridge. That's always exciting. And that's this one? No, this is a different place. They don't have wheat here, but they have wheat up here. So we have to go across this bridge, and then across this bridge, and then up uh, up the river there. We don't use roads. Roads are for chumps. My town is burning down. Okay, and just like before, we're going to build a town. we got, like, rocks over here. I'm going to build it right here. Um, I want to... How do I put you down again? Deploy. There we go. And I can't build a keep over here, but I can build a trader's hut. Which is basically a small keep. Like that. And then the, the 10... I got like 10 farmers or 20 farmers over here that, that came with these guys. Yeah, 20 of them. I'm going to build this guy up. We'll have a second town basically over here. I know there's a lot of things, notifications over there like... Uh, that place is falling apart. Don't look at those. Just ignore that stuff. It's, it's real scary. Are we looking over here? Yeah, everything's on fire and people don't want to put it out. Yeah. Yeah. I actually may not be that's actually not in range of a well. Let me Okay, is this done? Okay, so let's go to wheat farm and collect some wheat up over here. Let's get that guy. I really click I really wanted to click and drag these things, but I cannot. And we'll put our farm like right. We'll just put it right here next to it. Build a wheat farm. Okay, it's going right here. There we go. You gonna, are you gonna are you gonna need a um car, a storage storage space? You're probably need houses too. That. Throwing some houses. Any people over? 12 or 20 people? These roads really don't want, to, don't want to cooperate. That's a bridge. Okay. Notifications when trade comes to the trading hut. I didn't. S I, I missed it. If it does, so I'm not sure. Okay, there's the wheat. Collect 50 wheat. People are just standing around doing nothing. So we're gonna turn this ba basically into another town over here. We know that they need that. They're gonna need a food place, um, a food store, of course. That'll probably be, that'll do. That'll do. We'll get that started up. How are we looking over here at the other place? Is everything burned down yet? Just mostly. Limbyard fixed. 
This one needs fixed. It's also still burning. Uh, these guys say they burn down. Um, demolish those. My story yards over there getting burned down as well. Oh, everything's burning. Yeah, this place is falling apart. You know, I want to see like the. Uh, you can be like armory and all this stuff as well. We have eight unemployed people, so people should still be doing that that job with the well. But funny, right? And what are you trying to say? Insufficient resources. You need apples. We have tons of apples. Right, there's a ton of apples in this town. Producing cider. Do we have water? We have water too. Yeah. Maybe they're trying to get it from there. It's burning. What if I just demolish that? Build another one. I'm trying to salvage. Trying to salvage this, but things are clearly falling apart with uh, um, just with the beta stuff. Okay. Collect some wheat. How much have you made so far? Twelve. We had to collect fifty wheat. Which it should be going in... I guess it goes in here? Does it go in here or does it go in food land? It might go in food land. Let's build that. We actually don't... Oh, you know what? We don't have a... We can't get wood and, and all that. Stones. That guy can go there and logger camp. Which actually, you know what? I don't think that guy actually needs roads. I put roads before. I don't think he actually needs them. That. We need supplies. We could just load up uh, this guy and go pick up some more stuff from the other place, I suppose. Um, what if we pack it back up? And then come over here. Send him back over here. Come over here, buddy. Let's go load up some stuff. Over here. Hey, that guy's working now. Their houses are burning. They're a little upset about their house burning down. I can understand. I'd be a little... A little... Bent out of shape if that happened to me, too. My house was burning for, for four years. Be a little annoying. At least in the summertime it would be. Can my guy make it? Oh, yeah, here he goes. Okay, so here comes my wagon. There he goes. Okay, we can deploy this. As long as we're near a, a uh, stockpile, we can deploy this guy. Um, what do we say? I think we just have to, have to like, just deploy you first. And then we say... Give me... I'm just going to need carry. 200 wood. And... A bunch of stone. And can you carry some apples? And, oh, we should get a well over there, too. Uh, bring some firewood over there, too. Okay, yeah. Load that thing up. And then also back over the other town over here. We're gonna need a well. We need a well and food. So what we'll do is we'll just transfer food back and forth. Oh hey, that guy's working now too. So uh, you're important. I'm, you're important. More important than these guys. We don't need like this much. We'll do like one person in each of these. Just to kind of keep a supply going. I want everyone working over here and in in the field. Oh, no. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, they're all going to burn down. Of course. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We don't have a well over here yet, so <laughs> it's going to look nice. 
Nice. <laughs> it's okay. I'll be all right. Oh, look, everything's burning down over here, too. <laughs> oh, and this is right across, it's right across the street from the well. Yeah. Everything's going to burn down. Well, I want, wanted to play more of this, but I don't think it's, it's going to happen. I think I've, I've pushed as much as I possibly can out of this game. Uh, and then some. In this, in this play test. I have some words for this play test. <laughs> I, I like the idea. Um, I, do, I do like the idea. Of, of being able to like build multiple settlements. I think it's really cool. I love it. Um, but yeah, well. It says we've made, we're producing wheat. I'm not sure why it's not getting collected over here. I think it, I'm assuming it's gonna go over here. Um, once this thing fills up with, with, with stuff, we'll haul it all over there and then we'll have some supplies. What's, what's, uh, what's this thing over here? Um, Nothing. It's just just yammering at me. I want to see a fight. We can start getting into like um, Bowyers and Fletchers and stuff. I want to start seeing this stuff, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, that seems to be a thing with a lot of these, where like fires burning down your whole town is happens a lot more. In in maybe it's just me. It happens a, a lot more in, in games that I play than, than it probably should. <clears throat> uh, how are we doing here? Was it loaded up? No, we still got, I got a lot of wood to haul over. It's going to be a while before we get all that because there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff getting hauled over there. And um, oh, I wonder if the wheat needs to go into my wagon. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. I don't know. Well, hey, look, the the well's working. Oh, get those fires out. We got one of them out. Good. He needs. He says he needs firewood. He looks around his neighbors. His all his neighbors' houses are burned down. He's like, hey, how's the guy supposed to get firewood around here? It's already all burned. Remember London, 1666. Yeah, but that happened one time. Mm -mm. What are we doing here? Are we getting this stuff brought in? Says zero of fifty wheat, and that's that's concerning. Where's all that wheat going? I wonder if they're eating it. It might be. Don't you guys worry. I got apples coming. Don't you worry. Apples are on their way. Yeah, well, it'll be a little bit. I brought too many too many stone. I can't really I can't change it now. I'm a little upset because all my all my firewood's on fire. I'm not sure what these boxes are. These resource boxes. Collect this crate with a caravan. I'm not sure what that what that's all about. They're everywhere. Little boxes all over the place. Even my stockpiles are full. I don't know how to tell. It's full or not. By team one. Hey, that's me. Oh, the fires got put out. Hooray. Yay. Can we can we get some wheat brought in here now? So where's that wheat going? I, I see you bringing it in, but where's it going? You want... Oh, yeah, I probably could get a, 
a firewood guy over here. Um, I could also just I could do, do a trade route and just bring it over here and not even worry about that. I don't think my wheat is happening though. Wheat feel right, yeah. Well. <clears throat> Hmm. We'll give it another minute and see if we can squeeze a little more gameplay out of this, but I don't think it's going to happen. Just because I can't get this. This isn't working now. We're not getting any wheat. What do we have? Do we have people working? Yeah, we got three unemployed. Yeah. What's that guy doing over there? Where's he going? He's like, I'm out of here. This place is a dump. All I have to eat is, is wheat. Where is he going? She's going to pick ten apples from an apple orchard. Is she going to go all the way back to me? <laughs> Jeez, he's going to work. <laughs> okay. I thought my commute was bad. I saw the light, and I thought I thought every house in town was burning. <laughs> no, it's just their backyard fire pits. That one's still burning. Okay, she's devoted to working the land. Yeah, she is. Are we good here? Oh, where'd all the rocks go? I loaded all these rocks up where they go. Ay, 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 ay. All right. All right. I, that's it. I, I can't handle it anymore. Yeah. No grain. All right. I really wanted to show it off. I'm sorry. I can't. Um, but I, I cannot. I, it's clearly, clearly, we're not there yet. <laughs> um, it's getting there, though. So, whenever you go into combat, like, we... I'll just tell you about it. So we can go and we can make, like, an armory and uh, soldiers, you know, and um, archers and all that kind of thing. And then we move them around RTS style. And eventually we'll get, like, a... You get, like, a... One of the first missions you get is is a, a barbarian camp spawns nearby, like, out, out here somewhere. And we can send our guys out to go take out the camp. They'll come in and they'll, they'll attack us as well. Um, and steal supplies and all that. Um, I don't know how far the the military goes, like you know, catapults and all that. I think all we have is is like spearmen and bowmen. I think is all we have. Well, I said that with the horses we can have, I think we have knights. So I guess that's in there as well. I'm not sure what the other two bubbles are. Different ranks of people. Fishing docks. There's the bowyer and the Fletcher, smelter, blacksmith, vault for my monies. Um. There's a tanner for leather stuff. There's a hunter's lodge, which is surprisingly so far down the list. Not, not a basic job. What else is down here? That's it. Anyway. One last look. Nope, she's coming back. There she is. What a walk. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's because it's not in range. I bet you it is. I'm going to build a little one right here. Hang on. Solving. Problem solving here. I bet you because it's because it, I thought it was it's maybe maybe more than 50% needs to be in in the line for it to work. Could be. Yeah, let's make some wheat, and we'll see if this fixes it. I bet you it does. Hey, Rhino, how's it going? There's more houses on fire over there. Don't look. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't, 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 that's more on fire. Don't don't worry about it. Okay, here we go. This is this is. Let's see it. I want to see my four grain.
All right. You know what? Maybe it's a good time for bed. Maybe it's bedtime for me. <laughs> I think that's, maybe that's what's going on. That was clearly a harvest. I saw it. I saw it. Where's the grain at? All right. All right. Anyway. There is Thrive. Thanks, Rano. Thanks for the bits. There is Thrive. Heavy lies the crown. Uh, maybe has a little work, but it's playtest days. It's not coming out until next year. So we got a little ways to go. Um, I'm going to show you some of these things because we didn't. I was really hoping to show them. I was hoping to play them and, and see them. We didn't get to see it. Um, but, well, we saw all this stuff. This is just trailer stuff. Um, there's them crystals. There you go. There's fighty times. Fighty times. That's what I was hoping to see. Ah, there is uh, uh, trebuchets and things. And look at those castle walls. That's cool stuff. Not accurate, though. The town wasn't burning. 